Hey everyone, please check out my Patreon page. I'm sure you'll enjoy it, and there's a lot of nice prizes that are given monthly. Thank you to all my patrons, uh, the, the new ones, the older ones. I, I just thank you for all you've done for my channel and continue to uh, watch. Good morning, YouTube. This is Chuck Gunnels. I want to thank you for dropping by. What you're looking at here is my Latrap sluice, and what I'm trying to do with it is get it set up so we can go to the desert and recirculate down there, but this Latrap is... is is really big and wide and long and it, it may be more of a hassle with this but uh, the dirt and uh, whatnot in the desert is really wet right now we had a big rainstorm to come through so let me show you what we got here so what I've done I used our trusty uh, gorilla cart to haul all of this stuff in and uh, got the little trap set up let's see if you can see my uh, Trying to get you. Yeah, you probably can't see that real well. That's as close as I can get without getting blurry. But that's about seven degrees angle I got on it. And over here, uh, I'm too close. What I've got is a three-gallon bucket in a mortar tub, and that's a 2,000 gallon per hour pump that's going to be powering this thing. And it's going to be powering it from this battery. It's Group 27 RV battery. And let me show you a couple things when I get a little closer. So this is what we're going to be running. And what this is, is almost a half of a five-gallon bucket of uh, uh, multi-purpose sand. And where the sand came from was Home Depot, but we bought it... Uh, to do the panning contest at the uh, Roadrunner Prospectors Club uh, picnic. So this is what was left over and we didn't steal it, we bought it, so we kept it. So this is what we're going to run and we'll see how that goes. And over here, let's see if you can see, okay let me shut you off again. Like I say this is uh, a Group 27 RV battery that I've used before. If you look right behind the white hose there, let me stop this right there. What we got here is a switch so I can switch the power of that pump on and off uh, with causing, without causing any grief. Uh, that way you're not working with the leads and taking them on and putting them off and uh, it just, yeah, this saves you a lot of time. It's just a household, you know, 15 amp switch. So we're going to get going here in a, in a second. Uh, get these levels off of here. I got, this is my regular sluice and dredge level here. Well, you can't see that. We're looking at the thing. Okay. Let me get you closer. There we go. So this red one is the uh, sluice and dredge level, and this one was this an Empire uh, level that I use for bending steel and whatnot. So get them out of the way. Okay, so we're about ready to go here. The machine's working its way in now on me, but I'm going to. Uh, about right there, I think. Yeah, maybe a little higher. The lower end, yeah, I can still see. When uh, when I start up, I'll lower you down to see it, how it works. If we're just going to run a test pump start, Let's see if we can uh, get enough water down at the bottom. That's how it flows. Flows pretty good. It's, uh, I'm losing a ton of water though, so let me shut this off. What the problem was was because of the flares in this little trap, uh, the flares out here and back in, and the flares back out down here at the lower end and gets wider. So it's kind of a toss-up how much uh, 
where to put the bucket in the captain now. So let me throw some dirt in there, see what it does. I'm not going to wet this, uh, and I probably should, but uh, I'm not going to wet it. I'm going to put it in dry. Um, this is just a test setup thing, so let me change it to the other end. So as you can see, we had a really good flow. Let me aim it a little bit better here. I'm going to throw some in from this angle. These are good. Okay, that's about seven degrees. Um, it's running pretty good. It's clearing out really good at the top. Clear up here. Um, it's, uh, we got a little bit built up down here, but that's not bad. I think that's going to be a good flow. I decided to drop this to see if I could pick up a little bit more in this upper end. I'm at about five and a half now, so we'll see how that goes. I'll be back. Okay, let me get that level out of there and we'll see what we got. Okay, that seems to be working in that upper end better. Uh, still losing quite a bit of water down here, so I'm going to mess with that a little bit. And I'll be back. Alright guys, uh, that worked a lot better at five and a half than it did at seven here. Okay, but I'm running this 2,000 gallon a minute pump, a gallon an hour pump. And we're catching the all the ripples, I'm just letting it run. But here's my problem, as you can see the ground stopped right here, and I can't, because of the width of this frame, one's in the tub, one's out, and I can't get my, my bucket over there anymore, and I've got a wider tub that I'm going to try the next time. So we're going to do a clean up here in a second. Okay, we're going to clean this up from the top. Uh, you normally don't do this, you put this up on the edge and into a five gallon bucket, but I think this will work.
So as you can see, like Doug Odette said, these these big sluices like this with the deep riffles are take a lot of water to do the cleanup. So that probably took uh, three, four gallons just to do that cleanup. So we're, uh, we'll pan it out here and see what we got. Okay, I'm gonna do it right here in the, in the tub. Not many rocks. Yeah, a lot of black sand. Lots of black sand. So let me get some clean water and I'll be back. Okay guys, we'll see what we got here if anything. The reason I'm doing this sand is I've done other videos and uh, we did get gold in the Lupo sands. Uh, actually it was in play sand which is the worst one to try to get gold out of. Okay guys, what I'm doing here, this this is uh, multi-purpose sand uh, from Home Depot, and I've done previous videos, and you probably couldn't hear it in that first part of this clip, but uh, that I've actually got gold out of play sand, uh, and I don't know, it wasn't much, it was little specks and whatnot, but this multi-purpose sand actually is better, and it uh, doesn't have all the organics taken out of it and all the other uh, stuff you don't want kids playing in. This is uh, a much better sand. Uh, now this was uh, a 50 pound bag and we used most of it at the outing uh, for the panning contest. So uh, in the end I don't get anything in here but it wasn't about the sand that we were testing. We were testing the uh, Latrap being used as a recirculator and we had a few problems there. Well guys that's it for this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe, comment, come back again. And, uh, you know, may the bottom of your pan be gold forever. And I uh, hope that your sluice or recirculator works just fine. Thank you so much for watching.